Hi everybody, it's Dollar Tree, Trisha here. Ah, it's June. It's time to get back into the swing of things. Um, I live in Spokane, Washington, and our, um, we're in phase two of the COVID, where businesses are starting to open, restaurants are starting to open. So it's, it's nice that we're finally I just hope we're not opening too soon and that we don't get a big outbreak again and have to be um, secluded. Um, I was actually supposed to go back to work Monday, but I got a call on Sunday from uh, my work saying that because of the riots and stuff downtown and the protests that we were going to push back our opening to Wednesday. So hopefully if I don't get a call today, I get to go back to work tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Not that I haven't loved staying at home because I really have. I've gotten so many crafts done and so many projects that I need to get done in this craft room. So I'm very happy. And, and so that was a very big blessing uh, for that. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like what you see, um, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to know when I'm going to go, when I upload another video, hit the bell and you'll be notified. Okay, let's start this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, anybody who knows me knows that I love the Crafter Square double-sided tape. I love it. It's every bit as good as score tape. If you're a crafter, you know what score tape is. This is every bit as good. In fact, I don't even buy the score tape anymore. I only buy this. Uh, so I, I was running kind of a little bit low, not crazy low, because I buy some every time I go to the store. So I bought three of these. These are, and it's amazing. It's acid-free, which you want when you're scrapbooking. And you get 33 feet in one of these. I love it. It, it goes a long way, I think. In fact, my friend uh, who lives in Tri-Cities, she said she couldn't find it. They can always find the foam tape, but not this tape. So I bought her 15 rolls so that she can enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. All right, and that brings us to the Pop dot tape, which I call foam tape. It's all the same thing. This is great. You get three different sizes. You get a thin one, a medium one, and a bigger one. Now, I tell you, when you buy um, this from a scrapbook store or from um, Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby, you get one of these, and they're usually $4 for one, and they don't last very long. Here you get three for $1. I don't know if it tells you how much. You get two yards each in one of these. So that's cool. That's two, four, six yards. Excellent. So I bought three because I love to pop up everything. When I scrapbook and my friends and I go to retreats or if we're together scrapbooking, they always, they always ask me, can you look at my layout? What should I do to it? Always. I'm always popping up. Or ink it. Take your ink and like you would like this was a piece of paper. You take your ink and distress it all around so that looks antique. That's my those are my favorite things to do. All right. Also from Crafter Square, I got this beautiful wooden heart that I just simply adore. It's it's thick, but it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a decoration. And I'm going to do a tutorial on how I am going to decorate my heart. So be on the lookout for that. What else? Oh, this was new to me. Our Dollar Tree is selling face masks. Face masks. And you get two for a dollar. So um, I didn't go crazy and buy all of them. I just, I bought five, so... I have 10 total, but I thought those might be okay for going back to work. I have other ones that I use too, but uh, you know what? If you're going to the grocery store quick, this is an easy one you can wear and then um, discard it. So I thought that was great. So got those. I, in fact, I'll probably put them in my car for that reason. Finally, finally, I found hand sanitizer at the dollar store. I can't tell you. it Since this thing started in March, I haven't been able to find it at all. Um, and you can tell things are letting up a little bit because there's not, a, there's not a whole shelf full of these anymore, but at least there's a few here and there that you can get. Um, so I did buy four of these. 
because I'm going to put one of these in my office and I keep one on my table here. I just, they're everywhere in our house. We just, we like to be sanitized. I bought a new pair of scissors. I thought these are cute. I like the pattern because at our house, I don't understand. We can't find scissors. I can find them down here because they're always in my craft room. But when we're upstairs, <laughs> they're supposed to be in the pencil can by the microwave, but they are not always there. And then, because my mom's doing crafts too, so she has them at her table or whatever. So I bought another pair so that we can, she can have this pretty pair. We can keep the other pair <laughs> in the kitchen where they belong and all is well. So we don't have to go searching for the scissors. Okay, they had new highlighters in different colors. They look like they're a pastel color to me. And so they were light, not as bold. Um, you get the, I would say this looks more like a mint than an aqua, the yellow, the peach, and the pink. So I'll let you know how those go. I hope they work well. They have a chisel tip, as you can see right there. So I think those will be great. Now these are an erasable highlighter. I kind of doubt that they're going to work. So I had to buy them. And of course I can't open them. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to try them on here and we'll see if they do what they say they're going to do. I just can't believe it would erase completely, but we'll see. Maybe my... It, where's the eraser? That must be the eraser part. All right, I'm going to try the green. Okay. And I'm assuming this part here is the eraser. It doesn't really feel like an eraser, though. So I miss it. So I'm going to I get it on my um, piece of paper here. I don't, how do you erase it? Oh, this is the eraser at the bottom. <laughs> I was going to say that thing didn't feel like it. So the marker's at the top, the eraser's at the bottom. <laughs> Let's see. Well, this was on a yellow piece of paper. I wish I had a white piece of paper right here because it did, it did go away. It's a little yellow where it was, but I'm sure if it was white paper, it wouldn't be. So I'm a little surprised. Let's see. Oh, okay. here. I have a, here you go. I have a notebook right here. This has white paper. I'm going to do it in that. We'll do the pink one in that. In that. Okay. So I made a lime pink. Now I'm going to try and erase it. It does go away. The pink is a little harder to get rid of, but it does go away. So that is very, very, very cool. Very excited because you know what? I can I wish I had these in college because there are so many times I'd be highlighting, highlighting, and go, oh, I don't need to highlight that. This would be nice to go. <laughs> So you didn't have to do that. So I recommend those. They're super duper. Then I found these Clean Citrus Pet Renews It. I thought this would be great. We have pets. Um, we I use Renews It all the time. I like them and I just love the, the smell of them. I use them a lot. Oh, that smells, it just, it smells like citrus. So I did end up getting, I think four of these. Yes, I know at Walmart they're 97 cents, but I was already at the dollar store, so I will pay the three cents more. Renews is a good brand. This I was shocked to see. I've never seen these at our Dollar Tree. I got a mason jar, and it says, um, it says ball, and it says perfect mason, made in the USA, which is nice, because a lot of things at the Dollar Tree are not made in the USA. Um... Lid not for preserving. So it's a nice big size. I got three of them and I'm going to be doing a craft with these as well. So keep a lookout. Then they also have these teeny medium sized ones that say the same thing on them. And I just think they're so cool. And I'm going to be doing a craft with this one as well. I've heard from people that I need to do more crafts. They miss the crafts. So I've heard you. I'm um, going to do them. 
So, uh, this is ribbon. I hauled this before, but I saw it again, and I just can't get enough of this black checked one, and I love this pink one. I love them all, and I have so many um, spring crafts that I'm doing that I used up my other ones, so I got another set. You get three yards in a roll. We have the pretty green, whoops, pretty green, the red and white, the black and white, the pink and white, and the black and red. So I love these. They're fantastic. And I also got these. If you've never had these on the border chips, I've only had them in the big bag from the store, but they had this bag at the dollar store. They're so good. And they're I like to eat them just plain, but they're so great if you want to make nachos. Um, or if you wanted to put them in salsa, and you get four ounces, it's kind of nice because they're actually the bag is big, but it's filled up to it's filled up to right here, which is a lot of times they're down here and you have all this air, so I think it's a great deal. If you haven't tried them, they're delicious. My last item that I hauled is a book. It's called A Man to Wake Up. I don't care about the title or what it's about because I'm not going to use it for that. But I am going to show you a very cool craft with this. So, there you go. That's all I have. I hope things are great wherever you are. I hope the COVID is, you know, coming closer to an end or what phase your cities are in. Um, our Tri-Cities, where a lot of my friends live, they're still in phase one. They have a lot of cases uh, still. So, I have a lot of friends that are like... Are we ever going back to work? Are we ever going back to work? Uh, one of the great things about the COVID, okay, there's nothing great about the COVID itself, but from being at home, I feel like it's been a blessing because I've been able to work in my craft room, get so many crafts done that I've been wanting to get done and getting my room organized. So I'm very happy, very happy with that I didn't just lollygag. But man, I have been binging a lot of shows, a lot of shows. Um, I binged um, Little Fires Everywhere. Uh, I think that was on Hulu. Very good. And then I went from that to um, The Sopranos. I, I know, I've never seen The Sopranos. I'm late to the party. It's been off the air for a long time. I have to tell you, that ending... I can't believe that's how they ended it. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I wouldn't even recommend watching the series because the ending is so bad. <laughs> I was so I was so upset that I watched all those seasons, six seasons, and then that was the end. <laughs> it was very, very disappointing. Let's see. Uh, now I'm binging Parenthood off of Hulu. Um, I watched that when it was on, and I, I don't know, I love that. I love that show. So I'm watching that. I'm waiting for I, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I love that show. It's, I don't know when that's ever coming back. And The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, I haven't seen that. I mean, I've seen it. I'm waiting for the next one to come out. Um... Call the Midwife, that's still on TV, so that's been fun to watch. But I may, you know, I may go back and binge all of those because I've binged out in Abbey, I can't even tell you how many times. I, I mean, I just, I can have it on all the time. They took my friends off of Netflix, which I'm very sad because that's something I always had on all the time, too. My husband would say, why? Why again? I'm like, I just love it. The jokes are hilarious. It's just fun. So that's what I have been doing. Um, but I hope you all are well. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. See you later. Bye.